Shadow Pokemon will be used today in the Gold Battle League, in the Master League at level 50. Yes, I'm going to use three level 50 max level Shadow Pokemon in the Gold Battle League, in the Master League, and hopefully we can win some battles, all right? So hi, hi to all of you guys. So yes, let me go to bring my screen up and show you guys that Yep, I have powered up a lot of Shadow Pokemon including Mewtwo, Tyranita, Metagross, Lugia, Zapdos and so on and so forth. But not all of them are great for PvP. Today, I will not be using Shadow Mewtwo because I have plans to use it in a separate video. So today, we will be using a different set of Shadow Pokemon. That's going to be this. Yep, Shadow Gyarados together with Shadow Lugia and Shadow... Um, Snorlax, alright, I'm gonna go ahead to type n.m and we can see that these are the moves, Dragon Tail, Arrow Blast and also Sky Attack. This is the one that is the Apex Shadow Lugia, so hence it has Arrow Blast Plus. Gyarados has Dragon Breath, Aqua Tail and also Crunch and Snorlax has League Body Slam and Super Power. So having this team, hopefully we can uh, take on the two most overly used Dragon type legendaries and that's Giratina and also Dialga. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. We got Eddie Lim89 in the house, and let's see what he has for his first Pokemon. It is going to be Machamp. Okay, quite an okay start for us, I suppose so. Other than the fact that we have to be cautious about the Rock Slide. Okay, we're going to go with Aqua Tail straight away. Okay, his, um, his Cross Chop should be ready. Okay, but his Rock Slide ain't ready yet. Okay, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna just Dragon Breath down the Machamp. Um, I know Machamp's damage is very high, and hence shilling this might be a good idea, so I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, great. Now we can farm down the Machamp totally, I think. Two, three, four, five. Okay, great. It's down. Okay, didn't need to use another shield, I suppose. So, okay, now he's bringing in Rayquaza. Very interesting choice. Rayquaza, I mean, um... There's no Shadow Rayquaza yet, otherwise i probably use it. I, I, I mean, it's nice to use it. I do not have a Shadow Dragonite that I powered up, so hence we are not using that. Okay, decided to shoot it. I'm going to let this go through. It's going to be Breaking Swipe. And then we're going to switch into our Lugia. Okay, goodbye, Get right Doss. You did very well though, actually. Okay, we're going to just farm down the Rayquaza, and then let's see what's the next Pokemon. Dragon Tail down, Dragon Tail, Dragon Tail one more time! Okay, the Breaking Swipe is coming in. We're going to have to suffer a debuff. Yep, and a little bit of chip damage. Yep, ouch. Okay. Now, attack has fallen. It's going to bring in a Metagross. I'm going to bring in my Snorlax now. And uh, I believe it is good for me to shield this up, right? I'm going to let the first Meteor Mesh go through. We're going to see how things goes. Yeah, I might have to... I might have to shield up for the next uh, Meteor Mesh, but I need to get to Super Power. Okay, we got double Super Power, almost double Super Powers ready. We're gonna go with the very first one. Hopefully we can get to the next one without needing to use our ch shield at all. Please, okay, he's gonna shield this. We're gonna go with another Super Power. Actually, you know what? Even if he is going to um, reach the Meteor Mesh, I'm gonna just shield up, do the Super Power, and it will be enough to knock out the Metagross. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Just needed to do one more lick, guys. Snorlax, <laughs> you need to do a little bit more damage. Although you're level 50. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys that you're all level 50. I'll just show you guys over here once uh, we go back here. Okay, not Hairdo, but Shadow and .ml. So you guys can see this is powered up to level 50. And this is also powered up to level 50. And this is also powered up to level 50. For the IVs wise, these are the IVs. 15, 14, 14. As for the Gyarados, it's... Yep, not good for the attack. As for the Lugia, this is it. Alright, so now back to the Go Battle League and we look, go ahead to search for another opponent. Yep, so um, of course it's not easy to get like a Hando Shadow Pokemon. So hence uh, powering up um, kind of whatever IVs would be great. But in the future, when we do get the Shadow Raids available, I reckon the minimum IV should be 10 10 10 when we actually catch it from the Raids. And. It will be very very interesting, all right. Especially the Shadow Mewtwo. Now we have Excadrill in the house. It's not very high in terms of CP. Now he's gonna use his Charge Move. It's gonna go. It's gonna be Rock Slide. Gonna take the first hit. It's okay. 
Let's see, half health gone, I suppose so. Okay, more than half health gone. We're gonna go with Aqua Tail now. Alright. So the Excadrill is at 3008 CP. That is not exactly a level 50 Excadrill. Okay, we're gonna go with the Aqua Tail. Let's see, we can actually go with a second one. Uh, no, we lost the CMP tie. Actually, you know what? He was gonna get it to the Rock Slide before I could get to the Aqua Tail anyways. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of Dragon Breath just to farm out a little bit more energy now we can go with our aqua tail let's see if it's gonna shield this or not if it shield this great we burn both shields and then um, next pokemon that's gonna come in is gonna have a lot of fun against his whatever pokemon that he's left with i am not gonna shoot this at all okay letting this go thinking if i should bring in snorlax or i should bring in lugia though both technically will be fine yeah both technically will be fine I am going to bring in Snorlax, okay, I'm going to bring in Snorlax, and let's see if I can try and, ah, I was going to try and catch the uh, drill run, but nah, um, I'm going to shoot this, drill run still is going to hurt, especially from an Excadrill, okay, farm down the Excadrill totally, our superpower is almost ready, what's the next Pokemon, it's going to be a Kyogre, okay, now we're gonna go with Body Slam, making sure we don't let him do an extra waterfall. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how this situation will play out though, but we'll just play however we can. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, let's go with that. Now next body slam coming in. I'm thinking if I like to switch into my Lugia to handle the surf. Okay, although it's a bit risky, but we'll do it. Okay, good. Okay, we knocked out the Kyogre with the Dragon Tail. Great, now the last Pokemon is going to be Zekrom. Uh, not so good for us, not so good for us. One Wild Charge is going to knock us out, so let's just go with one um, Sky Attack first. I think we get knocked out by one Wild Charge, right? No, 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 we wouldn't, right? Fusion Boat. Fusion Boat probably will knock us out. Okay, so he's very low on health already. Maybe like three leaks or four leaks should be enough from the Snorlax to knock out this Zekrom. Okay, and it's Fusion Bolt. Oh, we survived that. Wow, Lugia, you're just too tanky. One Dragon deal and goodbye. Anyway, this opponent is not using level 50 Pokemon. So hence why we had a huge advantage. So, uh, I'm sorry. Let's go into the next uh, battle right now. But yeah, full team of Shadow Pokemon, man. Um, you guys can see that actually the damage being dealt out from them is slightly higher. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. Because uh, if you compare the Body Slam from a regular non-Shadow Snorlax, it's not going to be as high. Okay, we got matched up against our next opponent, Jai Boy. And let's see now. Okay, he got Groudon. That is very good for us. We resist every move from Groudon, except if it's Solar Beam. Alright, that's when we will suffer a neutral damage, but not many people will run Solar Beam on um, Groudon. Let's see what he's going to do right now. He might pull a switch into another Pokemon, but Aquatel goes through first. Great, we're burning the... First shield, gonna let this go through. Whatever that comes in, fire punch, precipice blade, earthquake, doesn't matter. Okay, it's fire punch, we resist that. Okay, now he's bringing in Lugia. Hmm, now you're bringing in Lugia. Hmm, okay, we're gonna go with one crunch first. What was the first Pokemon again? What was the first Pokemon again? What was the first? Okay, it was Groudon. The Lugia can handle it also. So we're gonna bring in my Snorlax after this crunch goes through. Okay, Snorlax, come on. Now you can lick down the Lugia already. Yeah. You love to leak the Lugia, yeah? Okay, we're gonna go with Body Slam straight away. Didn't, um, didn't uh, count the fast moves from the opponent, but it's totally fine. Because uh, we see MP tight over there, his charge move is gonna be used. Okay, we're gonna let this go through. Even if it's Arrow Blast, it's totally fine. I'd like to save the Lugia though. Okay, it is Arrow Blast. Ouch, that hurt. Oh my god! <laughs> that was so painful to see! Okay, we're gonna have to get to another body slam immediately. Wow, I didn't expect that amount of damage from the arrow blast. So if we were to face up against an apex shadow Lugia and get hit by the arrow blast blast, I'm pretty sure we will get knocked out. Okay, now in this situation, <laughs> I'm gonna bring in the Gyarados. I'm gonna shield up the Gyarados also. <laughs> oh wow, I thought he was gonna bait me with the sky attack, but uh, I was wrong. Okay, sky attack comes true gonna just uh, slowly do this okay the uh, Groudon is back in okay which tells me that his last Pokemon is weak to Gyarados I mean it could be weak to flying so hence it's great I suppose so 
that okay using precipice blade that's gonna double be double resisted we're gonna go with the aqua tail i might just pull a switch into lugia we have one shoe and lugia with one shoe should be relatively good against whatever pokemon that comes in yep okay let's see the last pokemon okay no he's bringing in a giratina mm -hmm. okay like i said we should be fine against the giratina as long as we have one shoe okay um i'm gonna let this go through it's not gonna be shadow ball i suppose so right uh, okay it's ominous win great and then we're gonna shoot up the next move i think he tried to gamble for the move as in the boost okay we're gonna go with sky attack sky attack would be enough to almost knock out the giratina already i've already tapped on sky attack remember we're using apex uh, shadow all right shadow does 20 percent more damage so we should be almost should be enough actually no it's not gonna be enough but we just need one more dragon tail i suppose so Okay, one more dragon tail. One more dragon tail. Okay, it's two more dragon tail. Now we can go sky for sky attack onto the Groudon. 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 Okay, never mind on it. Alright. Great. So, sorry, that was a very delay uh, reaction from me. Yep. We really won that like 10 seconds ago. Alright, let's go into the last battle. Is this the last battle or second last battle? I believe this is the second last battle. Um, let's see who we got matched up with. Alright, battle starting great. So, so far, after trying uh, Go Battle for the last few days, seems to be less buggy. Less. So, maybe uh, Niantic has uh, done some changes and what, so hopefully that's the case. Alright, got matched up against Dragon Knight. We are going to stay put, since we are going to do super effective damage to this Hando level 50 Dragon Knight over here. Okay, Dragon Claw is going to do a lot of damage, but I'm going to let this go through. Yeah, I can let this go through for now. And then we're going to go with Crunch. Let's see if my opponent is going to shoot up the Crunch or not. Okay, let's go with Crunch now. Excuse me. Okay, great. So I'm going to save the shield for either Snorlax or Lugia. Despite them very being very, very tanky Pokemon. Okay, decided to shoot that. I'm thinking though. Okay, I'm going to just uh, stay put. Since I do not want to lose switch advantage. As I, as I might have to pull in my save swap that is my Snorlax. Uh, letting this go through is probably another Dragon Claw. Doubt he's going to use the other move because high chance is super power, which then will be double resisted. Okay, slowly chunking away the health of Dragonite. Great, now the Dragonite is down. He's down one shield also. Let's see what's he going to bring in. Hopefully it's not still typing Pokemon though. Might be a still typing Pokemon. Excuse me. All right. Well, my prediction is totally right. Okay, 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 I'm thinking guys, okay, I'm gonna let this go through first, the first um, charge move. I'm gonna fire off Arrow Blast, and then switch into Snorlax. I think that's a better option. Okay, great, let's go with Arrow Blast. Hopefully he doesn't shield this, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. If we burn a shield, great, if it, does, if, if it doesn't burn a shield, it's fine. Okay, great, we're gonna bring in Snorlax now, he's half health. Onto the Mel Metal. And uh, Mel Metal does have Super Power also, which then we have to shoot up against that. Okay, I'm going to shoot up against this. Super Power. Thinking it's Super Power. Though he could go with the Rock Slide bait. Okay, he's going with Super Power. I'm going to go with uh, Body Slam straight away. Oh, wow. He did a very nice switch into Mewtwo. Okay. To remove the debuff. That's a very good um, choice, I'm not say. Okay, Snorlax is just doing a little bit of cheap damage. Cheap damages with the... With that, it's not going to be Focus Blast, so I can let this go through first and decide how I'm going to use my shield. Okay, just do a few more licks, a few more licks, a few more licks. He's probably going to shoot this Body Slam. Yep, I'm pretty sure he's going to shoot this Body Slam. If he shoots this, I am then going to shoot up against his Side Strike. Okay, just lick down the Mewtwo, then just Super Power the Mel Metal and we should be good to go. Okay, shilling up against this. I think another three more licks should be enough to handle the Mewtwo. Maybe two more. Alright, since Mewtwo isn't too um, bulky. Three more licks. Okay, Super Power is ready for the Mel Metal. And here we go, Mel Metal. Eat this Super Power. Eat Snorlax Super Power when you also have Super Power. Alright, and boom. Boom. Excuse me, now I'm too fast. Yeah, now the network is delayed. Okay, so we won that also. Great, let's go into the final battle, I suppose. So, so you guys can see, Shadow Pokemon, they are really, really strong. If you ask me, they are worth getting or not. Yes, in the future, when we do see Shadow, newer Shadow Legendary Pokemon, like Shadow Giratina, Shadow Dialga. Oh my god, I really cannot imagine how they will be like in the Go Battle League, man. 
yeah, Shadow Giratina, Shadow Dialga. I think Shadow Dialga will be quite insane, right, if you ask me. Alright, so we got Groudon again, very good lead for us. Awesome, we're just gonna stay put again. Same thing, we don't have to shield against anything from the Groudon. Weak connection, he's bringing in a Gyarados. Okay, 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 I'm gonna go with Crunch first. Um, thinking if I should switch into my Snorlax. Thinking if I should switch into my Snorlax. Okay, I'm gonna switch into Snorlax now. Okay, great. Uh, whatever move that comes in, even if it's Outrage, I'm just gonna let it go through. Although Outrage, yeah, will hurt. Hydro Pump might almost knock us out and will bring us down to red health. Okay, it's Aqua Tail, it's totally fine. We're gonna just go with Body Spams. Alright, Body Spams. Seriously, body slams are just so spammy that it's just so good. Alright, great. And uh, we did good damage there. Okay. Take note that this uh, Gyarados is actually a level 50 hundo. I believe we can totally farm down the Gyarados, which then he is going to bring in the Groudon. Okay. Can we farm down the Gyarados? Oh no, we can't farm down the Gyarados. Now I'm thinking if I should shoot this or not, man. You know what? I'm going to let this go through. Dragon Breath down the Gyarados. Yeah, Dragon Breath down the Gyarados. Okay, cool. Dragon Breath down the Gyarados. Now we have energy for the next Pokemon that comes in. Um, highly doubt he's going to bring in the Groudon. He's probably going to bring in the other Pokemon. Okay, but let's see what it is. Okay, it is Dialga. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Crunch. Okay, to see if we can get a debuff onto the Dialga. Okay, this is a bit tense. But we should be okay. We're gonna switch into Lugia. Yep, Lugia can still handle the Elgia. And uh, maybe he's gonna try and gamble for a for a hard hitting move. Maybe a Thunder. I'm gonna shoot up against this. I just need to farm down the Dialga, use Sky Attacks onto the Groudon and we should be good. Okay, totally farm down the Dialga. Over here. One more Dragon Tail. Boom. Alright, great. So we can just Sky Attack all the way. Okay, great. Sky Attack here. Let's go. Let's see if this is going to burn a shield though. If this burns a shield, I'm going to go with Aeroblast next. I don't even think I need to shield up against whatever move that comes from the Groudon. Okay, great. So now we can just Aeroblast to take out the Groudon. Uh, yeah, we survive Fire Punch, we survive uh, Precipice Blade, we survive everything. So we don't need to shield that. Great. Okay, so let's slowly just get to our Aeroblast. Just two more Dragon Tails would be enough. One more, great. I mean, we would survive this also. So I'm just going to let this go through. Okay, and Fire Punch. Okay, okay, and now the Arrow Blast comes in. And you guys will see a very, very... Uh, well, it will not go boom anymore because he already left the battle. So no damage was being done, but he already left the battle. Alright, so that is all that I have to show to you guys in this video in terms of how the three Shadow Pokemon, level 50 Shadow Pokemon performs in the... Master League, it's uh, really fun to use a uh, Shadow Pokemon, I must say, and usually they are better than their non-Shadow form in a lot of situations. But there are certain situations that the non-Shadow one would be better if you can actually get to a, another extra charge move if you are not using the Shadow form since you suffer less damage. Alright, and uh, yeah, if you guys want to try using a Shadow Pokemon in the future in uh, Go Battle League, yeah, definitely you guys can try it out. Shadow Mewtwo is definitely another strong pick to actually um, use. But uh, it's time to say goodbye. I think my Apex Shadow Lugia will be the one most deserving to say goodbye. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.